Well, we got us a, a nice possum here today. This guy, he's playing possum. You know, the old uh, adage that you know he's still he's he's still there. He's playing possum, but you can see right here. This is a super highway for coons, possum, skunks. I actually thought we were gonna have a skunk here today because I saw some skunk scat out here. But we got here and uh, we have this possum that's an estrator that's going to come out of the equation. These hay bales are something that I highly recommend if you're trapping ranches or farms and they have these hay bales. All of the three, raccoon, possum, skunk, are going to dwell in here. They're going to make their home in there. And you narrow them down where they come out right here, they're going to work in under there. And it's just an awesome place to catch these nest raiders. You know, I've, I'm in Missouri right now and I have a, a friend that actually lives in Missouri and he sends me a lot of stuff a lot of times um, on the turkey populations and, and things here in Missouri because they've seen a real big decline in turkey populations uh, here in the state. So much so that the Missouri Conservation Department uh, is actually looking to extend trapping seasons to actually take some more of these out of the population because the turkey numbers have just dwindled. And, you know, the, the information's getting out there. We're starting to let people know that uh, these nest raiders do do damage to the ground nesting bird populations, whether it's turkey, duck, pheasant, geese. They're gonna raid those nests. And, and they've done studies on this in Texas and, and other areas where they found that each possum, coon, and skunk is going to average one and a half to two nest predations through the brooding season. Now that's not all turkeys, but through the brooding season, each one of these is going to get one and a half to two nest average that they're going to destroy. And when a possum, a coon, a skunk finds a nest, whether it be turkey or grouse or duck or pheasant or whatever, they don't just eat one egg. They destroy the whole nest, and sometimes the hen will not leave the nest. And we have pictures and footage of the hen sticking on that nest and coyotes grabbing her right off the nest, coons grabbing her right off the nest, harassment by possums and skunks. So the more of these nest raiders that you can get out of the equation, the better your ground nesting bird populations are gonna be. It's gonna give them a chance to get through that brooding season and give them a chance to get them to adulthood. But don't pass up these hay bales. This is just a super highway for all of these nest raiders. And we're gonna take care of this possum, reset it, and I fully expect uh, to have more here through the few days that we're here, as well as some of the other ones that I have set. Well, we're gonna put a dog proof in here. This is actually one of my favorite situations, hay bales. And there's a bunch of them here on this property I'm on right now. But what happens is, is these hay bales get stacked and there's, uh, when they're up against each other, there's places and tunnels that the possums, the coons, the skunks can get in there and hide and, and get some warmth and things of that nature. So there's no better place. If you're trapping anywhere and, and you uh, have hay bales, that's a great place to go after nest raiders. And we're just gonna pound our, uh, ground talon in here. Uh, that should go right down in there. Right smack dab in the middle. Alright, we got that in. Pull that stake out, set the stake. This is the Duke Dog Proof. Uh, it's a cylinder. There's a trigger down in there. It's very easy to set. You're just pulling back on the lever and you're getting the trigger down in the notch and that's set already. Uh, it's a pull trigger system. Uh, meaning dog proof. The dogs can't get down in there and pull up because they don't have tangible fingers. These are perfect for your raccoon, possum, skunk situations where you want to take those nest raiders and those problem animals out of your equation. Uh, they got the tangible fingers, they get down in there, they pull on that trigger, and they're here the next morning waiting for you. So that's just going to go in the ground right there, right in the trail. We're going to take our coon buster, which is our crawfish based uh, bait for the DPs and it gets about a tablespoon to about where the trigger is. Um, you don't need to fill this the whole way up. 
there's really no need to have it full at the top and feed them. Just make sure it's down right about the trigger. They'll reach in, grab it, and you're gonna have them here waiting for you the next morning. And we just top it off with a little bit of our magnet trailing set right back through there, and that's it. Uh, it's very easy to make these sets, as you can see. It doesn't take much to put these in. Uh, it's right smack dab in the middle of the trail. That's one of the things that you wanna do. Just put that trap right in the middle of the trail where they gotta bump their nose on it and uh, they're gonna work the trap. We put our coon buster magnet in and that gets them to work down in there under that trigger and pull it. And for all you ranchers, farmers, hunters, homeowners, having some of these to help you out uh, with those situations where you have a need to, to take the coons and the possums and the skunks out of the equation, these are just a fantastic tool for you. And we're gonna put a bunch of these in, as I said, we got a bunch of these hay bales around the property and uh, I fully expect that we're going to have uh, quite a few nest raiders tomorrow. It's going to get cold in about two days, but uh, we're going to have at least one good night where they're going to be on the move before that cold weather uh, gets here. But just put them in and uh, I'm pretty sure that you're going to have success using these Duke dog proofs with this type of system. Handling nest raiders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP bait and magnet trailing scent. Our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper. Proven products. Proven conservation. Missouri dog right there right on the back edge of this hay bales uh, on this draw that comes out beautiful beautiful coyote and as we always say we like to set doubles and with that we uh, decided to put one on the other side and We got one here on the back side. So, as you can see, make sure you make your sets accordingly. Find those hay bales, double up, and uh, gives you an opportunity. This is that uh, coyote on the back side here. Uh, <laughs> I guess I had it a little too close to the straw. I got a little bit of that straw out there, so. This is going to be a cool remake, and there's a lot of scent here. Uh, this coyote obviously has been urinating and scatting here all night, and that's uh, going to just draw any other coyote that comes down through here. We got that other one down here on the front side. So we got a nice double this morning. This is a little smaller dog. That one down there is a really pretty uh, big coyote, but uh, just an awesome, awesome uh, set, an awesome area. As you can see, it's just beautiful here. These coyotes run along this fence row. They're going to come in here. They're going to mouse in these uh, hay bales. It's, you know, they're going to mark their territory. They're going to climb up on these bales and leave scat on top. Uh, it's just a, a really good area and I highly recommend anybody out there, if you have hay bales on your property, uh, make sure you're setting around them because uh, that's going to be a, a draw for all the coyotes and other critters in the area. But just a beautiful coyote and we're going to get it taken care of. We're going to show this remake. This is going to be a cool remake because of the straw and uh, you'll be able to see exactly what we do to put this back together. We're just going to dig this back out here and uh, this is going to be a really good set because we're going to have all this dry hay and ground up uh, dirt and we're gonna have a nice ability to have another one working through here. But we got our bed made right there. Pretty awesome. That's gonna go in our backing there. We're gonna use a lot of that to cover this trap up. If you are 
doing any trapping for predators, you want to double up your sets. They don't have to be, you know, this is 30, 40 yards apart, which is not doubling up right next to each other, but it's still two sets in the you know same vicinity where they're going to work around all these bales. And these obviously probably were running together and running together. Uh, we got one on the one side and got this one on the back side. Got that there. Get that trap down in there tight now. Make sure that's bedded properly. As always, making sure that you're bedding that trap in there as tight as you can get it. You want to make sure there's no wiggle, no wobble, making sure that that is a stable piece of equipment, which it is now, and that in and of itself will solve about 90% of your issues as a predator trapper. So now we're just gonna take this duff that this coyote created with all of the straw and the mess that he's got around here, which just is gonna make this set even that much better. But this dirt's so dry from him working it, and I really, really like how this set is coming back together. That is just awesome. We'll just put a little more of that there. On these remakes, I love them. I love the fact that there's scat and urine and everything. All that coyote smell is right here. And we're gonna put some bait in here, but uh, there's probably enough draw here for, for anything other, not even needing bait. We're gonna give them a little extra incentive to work the hole. Get some of our mountain man. We're gonna put that right down in the hole. And that's all we need to do. That's a completed remake. And just being able to have this set uh, in good work and order again is just gonna set us up for the next coyote that works down through here. I'll take that straw. We're gonna throw that around, make it just like that. And we're giving him a place to step right there to get down in to where that mountain man bait is. But just a awesome day, beautiful day. It's cold, it's only about six degrees. But uh, just a great remake and um, another nice coyote. We're gonna take care of that other coyote and remake that set as well. Awesome. North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today. Wow, this is just a beautiful dog right here. Wow, that is a beauty. Got a really good pad catch again on that Duke 550. You know, if you're looking for great equipment that's going to help you control these predators on your property, your ranch, your lease, whatever, that Duke 550, just a full pad catch every time when they make a commitment. You know, I am making those step down sets a lot to where I want to get that momentum of that animal uh, working down in there, but this is just a beautiful dog, textbook catch textbook location 
you know, these hay bales, I, I, I don't want to be redundant, but I got, I got to stress it again. They are an eye appeal to these dogs. They're an eye appeal to every animal. Uh, they're going to come in here. They're going to hunt. They're going to look for mice. They're going to look for uh, other scent that other animals have left here. They're going to mark it with their own scent. But if you can uh, put some sets in around these eye appeal, you know, locations, you're going to be successful. And we got a beautiful double here today. This is a really nice dog. We had a really nice dog on the other side, and it definitely warms the soul on a five degree day. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not hard to catch these animals. Put the traps in the ground, let them sit, and let them marinate for you. These have been in the ground three, four days. Nothing around them, but you know what? I knew this was a good location, and these animals are gonna come by here. And last night, they obviously did, but we'll get this beautiful animal taken care of. We're gonna do the remake. We got some Duff again. It's gonna be a really nice set. All that scent around here with uh, his scat, his urine, um, is just gonna draw every other critter that comes by here into this set. Here's where that set was, as always. I can't stress it enough. Make sure you get those swivels clean and uh, make sure you have that to where that rotates. One, it's easier on the animal and two, it's gonna save, uh, save you a lot of trouble at the end. But as you can see, that hole gets dug out. You can see that's about four inches below the surface of the ground. And that's what I'm talking about, creating momentum getting that animal to uh, create momentum when he comes in to work to set. And that's exactly what I like. We'll dig the hole back out. And we'll put our bait in there. It's all cleaned out, he obviously ate it. And we'll get our trap reset. I usually have those cold creek gloves on, but boy, it's cold out here today. I needed to go with a little more flannel. <laughs> we'll get our trap reset here. Duke 550, got that night latch. Good, ready to go. And then we're gonna get that packed right down in here. There we go. Nice and neat. Nice and tight. Take some of this drier dirt and duff that's around the area. And I love remakes like this because you got all this scent in everything. So this is going to be polluted with all of that coyote scent. And I don't really think that you need to worry about as much on a remake as you maybe do on uh, an original set. Because there's so much set coming out of here that when we go and use our dirt hole, we're going to have our bait down in there. That's going to be the concentration of the scent that's around this area. That's the food scent. We might throw a little gland lure in there too, but... That's the concentration. So all of this other scent, the animal's going to smell it. It's going to smell it here, but their focal point is on that hole where the bait and the gland lure is going to be. So it's, it's paramount. The only thing that's paramount on this is that you bed your trap properly, which we have done right there. And then we're taking the dirt from this surrounding area that he's been basically laying in since he was caught and I have no problems using this to cover the set because the scent of the bait and the scent of the gland lure that we're going to use is going to uh, basically overtake this whole area to keep his attention because everything else smells the same. So don't get caught up too much on uh, find the pan right there. Don't get caught up too much on worrying about scent. 
The coyote's gonna know you're here. You, you're not gonna keep him away from that. But you wanna have something in that hole that gets him over the fear. And another thing that helps you in these situations on a remake is there's all that coyote set. So he knows another coyote's been here. And that's exactly what we want. And I love this remake. And then all I'm gonna do, just around the area, do that. Move this in. And that's gonna look exactly like something's been working here, buried down in the hole. And uh, we're gonna throw our mountain man in there. We've obviously catching some uh, good critters on that. I'm gonna get a good blob of that. Put it right down in the hole. Smooth it all around there. And that is pretty good to go. And uh, I think we're gonna use, with this one, uh, our Madness Lure, which has a little bit of skunk essence in it. And you don't need a lot of lure. You don't wanna overdo it with a lure. So I'm just gonna take this little twig, dip it, get just a hair on it, and then that goes down in the hole as well. So we have two different scents coming out of there now. Uh, there's a little bit of coyote gland in this as well. So we got gland, skunk, and the mountain man bait. So this set is done. I love it. I love the fact that we have all that scent, scat, from that coyote there. And this set is pretty much ready to go to catch the next one that comes by. Make it look like something's buried down in there. He's gonna work that step down in and he'll be here the next day. But a beautiful coyote, that is a gorgeous, just gorgeous coyote. Uh, reminds me of the nice pail I caught in Montana last year. But this is the remake and find these hay bales. You can't beat them. Handling nest raiders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP Bait and Magnet Trailing Scent. Our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper, proven products, proven conservation. You know, I wanted to take a little time here. <laughs> I've talked to you a little bit. We've showed you some uh, hay bale sets that we put in for these nest raiders. And there is coon scat, big piles of it, the whole way down these hay bales. There's one right here, there's one right here, and on the other side, there's two or three other large piles. So. I've talked about uh, eye appeal and focal points before as well. These hay bales are focal points. They're focal points for every animal that's running this whole region right here. So if, if something comes out in the field all the way across, they see this hay bale, that grabs their attention. They're gonna come in here, work around it, maybe put their scent here. The coons and stuff are climbing up on top and scatting and marking their territory, using it as a toilet, whatever. You can make a coyote set right here. These are perfect spots for dog proofs to catch the, the nest raiders. Every animal that comes in here, whether it's a coyote, a bobcat, a fox, raccoons, possums, skunks, they're gonna work along these hay bales. They're gonna be working along them for different reasons. Coyotes and bobcats and stuff might be looking for mice. The coons, possums, skunks might be looking for some shelter to sneak in underneath. They might be looking for something to eat around the base of them. But every animal that's running this territory, this is not only a focal point, but it's something that means food possibly, it means shelter possibly, and it's definitely gonna grab their attention in the eye field. You can see the bales go all the way down. There's bales over there. There's bales on the other side. And I would fully expect that all of them are going to have some sort of animal sign around them. So when you're out there looking for places to set, remember what catches your eye 
on the terrain is going to catch the animal's eyes as well. And this is just a prime example. Coon scat, coon scat, big piles of it. I guarantee you the coyotes and bobcats that are in this area are coming in here and working around it as well. So it's just a multitude of different critters that you can go after around these hay bales. Wherever you're trapping across the country, if you have these hay bales, make sure you put your sets around them accordingly. It doesn't matter if you're trapping canines or coons or whatever. These animals are gonna work in around here for different reasons, but these are gonna have a lot of animal traffic anywhere across the country. And if you put your sets in, you're gonna do very well catching some critters. Well, we got us another big boar here today. That is a uh, really big coon. He's got a scar on his forehead here. He's probably been fighting with a bunch of the males looking for the female's attention, but awesome trail right here out into this field. Goes right out through here, and we knew the coons were working this, and you put the DP in there, the Duke Dog Proof, right in the middle of the trail. They bump their nose on it, and they're right here the next morning waiting for you. But. I can't stress it enough, anybody out there, whether you're a farmer, a rancher, a hunter, somebody that's, uh, you know, out in the wilderness and, and, and having some issues with these raccoons, possums, skunks, whether they're raiding your ground nesting bird nest or they're getting in your barns or eating your deer feed, uh, this Duke Dog Proof is going to do a fantastic job for you when you place them right in the trails and you're going to be able to take some of these out of the equation and overall it's going to help the coon population as well you know i remember when i was a young kid pretty much everybody had a coon dog and and coons were selling for 40 50 bucks nowadays you know the the fur market's not uh anything to be desired but you can still get value out of these we're going to get this raccoon tan we may donate it to a school to have the kids have something to learn about the the raccoons and other animals um you can actually give them away they make really nice gifts for home decor but uh you're doing a service and, and taking some of these out of the equation especially this day and age is uh, not going to hurt the overpopulation of coons, but it's going to actually help it as well as help those ground nesting bird species. And also your bottom line, uh, especially if you're a farmer or a rancher, uh, in dealing with the crop damage and also your damage in your barns. But beautiful coon, find these trails leading out into the fields, crossover points. You're going to see the sign if you put these Duke dog proofs in the middle of the trail, you're gonna have them the next morning. But we wish everybody out there the best when you go in the field. What do you think, little buddy? We gonna let you go? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna let you go. You're gonna be the one I let go on uh, on this trip. What do you say? If, you, if you're mean to me, I'll let you go. Oh yeah, you're getting let go. North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today.